Hey everybody, we have a question for you. Are you living a motorcycle lifestyle? Or a hobby? Yes. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Rich. And I'm Kay. Now we want to know, is motorcycling a hobby for you? Or is it a lifestyle? Now, just to let you know, we're not trying to label people or nothing like that. We're just going to have some fun with this one. Because we exactly. actually went out for breakfast this morning. And breakfast location that we were going was less than five miles from our house. And the weird thing about it, we had access to our daughter's vehicle. But we chose to just put all our gear on, jump on the bikes, and ride the bikes. Exactly. And we were like, <laughs> we were like man, we love this hobby. Man, we love this lifestyle. So we're trying to figure out, are we living the lifestyle as a motorcyclist or a biker, whatever you want to call it, don't matter to us, or it, is it a hobby? Neither one of them are right, neither one of them are wrong. So we're going to start off like this. If you jump on your bike to ride one block away and put all that gear on just to get a ride in, most likely <laughs> you are living the motorcycle lifestyle. Uh, I agree. Yep. Now, it can be a hobby if you don't ride every day. For example, if you bought a bike, you spend 20000 or whatever you spend on your bike, I guess the price don't matter. Don't matter. And it's been sitting in your garage, and you have perfect weather, and you find a reason not to go ride, then most likely it's a hobby. It's a hobby to me. No, it's, it's not something that you want to do all the time. You're having fun with it. It's a hobby. And of course, we have had hobbies. We had lived a lifestyle, several lifestyles, that has become hobbies. And we think right now, what we're doing on a motorcycle, this is our lifestyle. And we're in downtown Antioch, approaching downtown Antioch. There's a waterway right there, downtown Antioch waterway. Yep, yep, yep. Actually, the Delta. Yes, the Delta. So, let's Which see how many we can come up with. Bay. Let's see how many we can come up with. Okay. Here's one. Here's, here's, go ahead. Here's one. Go ahead. If you go to the store mm -hmm. and it's down the street from your house, it takes you two hours to get to that store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you took the long way. I would say you are addicted. Addicted. You are living that lifestyle. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, here's one. Here's one. I got one. I got one. What you got? What you got? If you are driving in your car, and you hurt your knuckles because you saw a motorcycle coming in your direction <laughs> and you tried to wave to him. Most likely, you live in a lifestyle. A lifestyle. You're thinking about motorcycles and you're like, man, I should be in my, on my bike. <laughs> yep, living a lifestyle. Got a biker coming toward us now. Okay. Okay, I got another one. I got another one. Go for it. If you decide to take the car and not ride your bike and you grab your helmet and jump in the car with your helmet on come on now <laughs> <laughs> you're addicted <laughs> you are living that lifestyle uh-huh if you what go to you got your bike parked in your garage or wherever you park it at mm-hmm and before you go to bed, you go and give it a hug and tell it good night. <laughs> and kiss it. on it. <laughs> yep, you're addicted. <laughs> you probably live in that lifestyle. Okay, I got one. I got one. I got one. You just come off a long, nice, long ride, having a good time. Right turn, coming up, baby. Copy that. You having a good time. Okay. You get home, you take all your gear off. Let's say you leave it in the garage or where you leave it, wherever you leave it. And you go to bed that night, you're feeling good. And all your stuff is in a separate room. And you wake up the next morning and your helmet is next to you. <laughs> <laughs> and you have no idea how it got there. <laughs> you didn't put it there. Your significant other didn't put it there. Your kids didn't put it there. Yep, you got up in the middle of the night without knowing it. Yep, you live in a, a motorcycle lifestyle. Ooh, I like this lot. Right by oh, the water. Oh, they closing it down. Closing what down? The lot. 
Oh. They got the, they got gates up on all the lots in oh, this okay. area now. Oh, I even noticed the gate. I was looking at the uh, military thing. Matter of fact, I'm going to go over there and get a shot of it. Right there. Thank you for your service. That is beautiful. And a big giant plaque right there. So let's head out. Let's continue yep. with this. Let's continue with this. What you got? What you got? I got to get out of neutral first. <laughs> I'm ready. In honor and memory of all men and women who served in the armed forces of the United States of America. That's what I'm talking about. I was Navy. I supported you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get another one. Let's get another one. If you just ride your bike to the dealer all the time and picking up some things and then back home and then cover it up. Yes, yeah, probably a hobby for you. Probably a hobby. Nothing wrong with nothing wrong with having hobbies. We all got hobbies. You ain't grown until yeah. you, you haven't yeah. gotten to the lifestyle yet. Right turn. Dead end. You turn. <laughs> and they got police department right there. If you just came off a long trip. Mm -hmm. You on your way home. Uh huh. And you're planning your ride for the next. <laughs> planning your route for your next trip. <laughs> yep. Yep. You're addicted. You got a problem. Yeah, a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Well, I guess that's us. I guess we know where we <laughs> fall because we always do that. Right. While we're on the trip, we already talk about the next trip, and we haven't even completed this the first. One. I'm nope. like some practice space back there. Oh, that's raggedy. You going to a family event? Uh huh. A family. I say family, meaning a significant other and, and kids. Uh huh. And you go in the car. You leave that event to go back and get your motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. It's time to leave. And your wife and kids come over to you. And you're like, uh oh. I'm on the bike. <laughs> I'm on the bike. Yep. <laughs> you're in trouble. You live in that well, life. You're in trouble. Okay, I got one. I got one. Which one you got? If you are about to have a child being born. Oh, we. <laughs> <laughs> and and you say, baby, you're not supposed to go in labor for another 10 hours. I can go get a ride in. <laughs> you got some serious problems. Are you timing the contractions? Yep. <laughs> you got some problems. Most likely. Yeah, you're addicted to the role. You're addicted to the role. You live in that lifestyle. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. If you out hiking on a trail. Uh-huh. And the trail has some curves and switchbacks on it. And you're walking that trail as if you're on a motorcycle. <laughs> inside, outside, inside. <laughs> it's supposed to be a joy of nature. You talk about, man, this be a good, this be a good road. <laughs> a good motorcycle road. Yeah. You're addicted. You're addicted. Yep, yep. And we know everybody can't ride. This is some fun we have. Everybody can't ride every day or consider themselves you living a lifestyle or a hobby or the sport of motorcycling. You know, whatever it is, whatever. Exactly. Okay. If you just riding, having a good time, like we're doing now, just having fun, and uh, you see an empty parking lot, and you start drooling and start heading over there, Mm, what's that? I think I say that's a, a wobbler. Because you could be living, you could be in hobbies and decide, okay, I just want to get better on my bike. So right, you go practice. Right. So that's yep. a lifestyle, hobby, I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's kind of one that's, that's kind in of between. Both. both. That's okay, kind okay, of both. both. Now, yeah, you got to remember this. If we just said something that was a hobby, and you say, well, I got one, two, three, four, five of those hobbies. Then if you got five of them, probably you live in the motorcycle lifestyle. But if you got exactly. one of them, exactly. you know, you're not doing nothing else on your bike, it's probably a hobby. It's probably a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> think you like the bikes? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> if 
you're at home having dinner, you're sitting down with the family or by yourself, nice meal, really enjoying that meal, maybe in front of the television, and you hear a motorcycle outside your window, and you jump up <laughs> just to go peek to see what type of bike it is. I say you kind of becoming addicted. Mm -hmm. Yep. Might if, be living that lifestyle. You if might it's be. raining, mm -hmm. you're staring out your window, <laughs> trying to figure out how to ride through the raindrops mm -hmm. on your motorcycle. Uh -huh. So you could go ride. I see. Yep. That's probably a lifestyle. That's a lifestyle. No doubt. Okay. Or if it's snowing, to those of you that have snow days. <laughs> And you trying to figure out how to put a snow plow. Oh my goodness. In front of your bike. Right. So you can continue riding. All right, right, right. Yep, you're addicted. Oh, you're addicted. You got problems. <laughs> you got problems. If you take the time out to record your engine and your exhaust, just so you can sleep at night with that sound on. <laughs> the sound of your exhaust <laughs> or engine. Yep. <laughs> you might you be have insomnia. <laughs> yep. You got a problem. Yeah. I mean, it's a problem. And I, it's I, a good problem. Yeah, I would say that. I wouldn't call it a problem. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you bought a, a brand new bike, no matter what you pay for it, nice and shiny and clean and sitting in your garage, and all your friends know you got that bike and you bought it, let's say, six months ago, regardless mm -hmm. of what your experience is, and you only written it twice, mm, mm, I'll it, say hobby. it might be a hobby for you. Even though you love riding, when you get out and ride, it might be a hobby. You, know, you ain't addicted to the road yet. You're not addicted to the road yet. If you go to a motorcycle event, uh -huh. you don't even own a motorcycle. <laughs> Never have. <laughs> I never had. I have no intentions on owning the motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're groupie? Ah, you're living <laughs> it through the eyes of a motorcycle. Okay, okay, I, I, I go with that one. I go with that one. <laughs> All right. But you were unable to ride your motorcycle. Uh huh. And you know your friend have two motorcycles. And you call them now, please let me ride it. Let me, let me just ride one ride. Let, let me ride, ride your bike. Your bike. <laughs> let me ride the one you're not please, riding. Baby, just baby, let please. me ride. Let me ride the Come bike. Come on, man. Come on. You know me. Come on. You know. Come yeah. on, man. I'm good. I'm good. You're grinding, whining. You're addicted. You're living that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. Okay. Same thing. You on a motorcycle and you unable to ride for some reason, whatever, whatever the reason is. And you call your friend. Let's say, let's say. You call me, whatever your name is, and you say, Rich, man, I want to go on a ride bad. <laughs> Bear with me. I want to go on a ride, I want to go on a ride bad. I'm like, all right, let's ride. My bike is down. Okay, well, I, I guess you can't go. Oh, man, I was wondering, could I ride on the back with you? <laughs> hell, hell no, you can't ride on the back with me. <laughs> I would say, yep, you addicted. Oh man, I gotta ride. I gotta ride. Just, just let me, let me walk, look at you. Can I wash your bike, please? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I would say. Yeah, I'll say that's a crazy one. Get on the back with your boy and go ride. <laughs> You're a co-rider, but your rider of the bike is down and can't ride. You uh -huh. call somebody else to come ride you around. <laughs> <laughs> you call, call somebody else to come ride you around. Yeah, to come oh, ride yeah, you somewhere. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, you addicted. <laughs> you live in a I lifestyle. I say you addicted. Yep. The yep. lifestyle. Woo, I like that one. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Or you go to the store. I gotta go run to Walmart right quick. Uh huh. And you come out with a big shopping cart. Uh -huh. Knowing that you on your bike. Right. Where you gonna put all of that stuff? Yeah. Okay, let me let me let me interrupt that. <laughs> you go to Walmart, right? You took your bike, you 
bought all those groceries. And you call me because you don't have enough room. Right? Right. And I show up on my bike. <laughs> <laughs> we still don't have enough room. We gotta call our daughter to come. Hey, we need one of your guys' cars to come help us with the groceries. <laughs> yep. I'll say I'll say we addicted. I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> If you out on a group ride with somebody, with a group, uh -huh. and the ride back home go past your house, you pass your house up. <laughs> just to stay on the ride longer? Just to stay on the ride longer. Yep. You don't want it to end. You're addicted. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh -huh. you're addicted. I would say. You get up and you go look at your bike and you say, Oh, my knee is almost on full. Honey, I got to go for some gas in my bike. <laughs> <laughs> and your bike is already full. And then you come back five, six hours later <laughs> when a gas station was just down the street. Because you went more than 200 miles to get some gas. Just so you can run it out and refill it. <laughs> yes. Yep. So you can't mix the old with the new gas. Yep, you was addicted. <laughs> you're going out there, you're addicted. So, if you look out the window and it's nice and sunny and you're about to go on a ride and then a rain comes and you're happy that it's raining because now you don't have to go out on a ride. <laughs> I say, I, uh -uh, hobby. Yep, yep, you weren't really addicted to it yet. You're not addicted to it yet, but you're going to get there. I would call that one a hobby. Hobby. Now, it sounds like, sound like what we say in Hobby, people might say, oh, everybody don't ride like you guys. No, that ain't what we're saying. We're just kind of just throwing some fun out there. You know, you might say, well, okay, it's a hobby for me. We ain't got nothing against that. You know, mm -hmm. because put it like this. There was so much, there always somebody who's saying, I'll never trail on my bike. And they down on people who trail on their bike. As if they not living the lifestyle. You know, some people don't want to ride every day, but yet they heavenly heavily into motorcycles and living a lifestyle. They just choose the trailer. Nothing wrong with that. That's not a hobby. That's the lifestyle, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah, baby. We going 25 miles out to my yeah, baby, because the street look twisted. See? <laughs> See? We live, in, we live in that lifestyle. All right, let's roll through this light. You ain't gonna make it. I'll slow down. There you go. Okay, if you got a collection of bikes, let's say three or more bikes, right? Mm-hmm. And you ride one of them every single day. Every single day, just because the other bike got jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're living that lifestyle. However, if you got a collection of bikes and you don't ride that often, maybe it's a hobby. And a collecting is your hobby. So let us know. Put something in the comments below. Whether you live in a life or a hobby. Or just add something in there. We don't mind. We like the comments. But that's all we have for right now. So if you're out riding on your hobby or your lifestyle for the sport of riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. From Boosting Jeans Riders, I am Rich. And I'm Cake. And we out. Peace. Peace.